G'day folks, Taran Taz here. And Josh, aka Card Shark. Yes, I made an OC and I'm proud of it. <laughs> Excellent, we'll stick that up on the video so you guys can check it out. Anyways, we're going to be playing a couple of decks here. I'm using my Maud Hats deck. And I, is a deck under construction at the moment, I call it affectionately the Coco Choke. <laughs> um, hopefully if I can get it running today, you'll know exactly why I call it the Coco Choke. It, I've got it running in the past and... Yeah, it's really, really frustrating to fight against from what I've seen. But let's hopefully, it, hope it gets that way today. That's it. I'm using a bit of a competitive deck, so we'll see how things go. But uh, maybe I'll hold back a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Are you scared, boy? This is not my final form. <laughs> okay, odd or even? That's my final form. Uh, I'll go evens. One. Mm. I win. Not I my shall, dice. I shall go first. Okay, guys. I lost it because it wasn't my dice. So, for my first move, I will play two action tokens to play Cloud Chaser to my problem. Fantastic. I'm already. I'll go for my turn. Hmm. Any rarity mean? It's yeah, very tricky to play against. Most people, yeah, it's going to be interesting going up against that. But uh, we'll see. What do I want to do? I need to win the game. That's what I want to do. I think for now, I'll just pay two to play out my sapphire shores. Passing turn. Okay. So draw two action tokens. Alright, so for my first move, I'm going to exhaust Cloud Chaser to play the titular character of this deck, Coco Crusoe. Mm, yes, 4 2, and I will end my turn. Okie dokie. So the basis of this deck is all around using Coco Crusoe's um, ability. So when you reveal a troublemaker, this card's problem, opponent discards two cards. So a very discard heavy deck. Hmm? Yes. The whole idea is to stop your opponent from having a hand entirely, and some of the other cards I have in my deck, which hopefully you'll see soon, make moving either really, really costly or impossible to do. Yeah, it's not going to be fun, but we'll see how we go. I will play two for good old Granny Smith, and confront my problem for two. Okay. Passing turn. Thank you. Okay, so draw. Fantastic. Alright, so Cloud Chase on exhausts. Uh, okay then, so for two action tokens, let's see, I'm going to actually exhaust Cloud Chaser and pay one to play Big Shot. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay one to play Varmint Brigade to my home. Bar barricade, I should say, rather. <laughs> and pay one action token to play a face down troublemaker to my problem. Oh, yeah. And pass my turn. Some barricade triggers. Certainly does. So I take the top card of my deck, which is yep. a Apple Strudel, and put on a bomb barricade. Right. Here's where it gets, starts getting fun, guys. And by fun, I mean I hate this. <laughs> We also have a, a special guest with us today. We have Katie. You probably saw her in our previous video. Hi, so guys. Hi. Hey. So, yeah. Hi, it's Katie. I went by Kaya saw in the, the last video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's going to help us commentate today. Yeah. So, it's not going to be as boring as last time. <laughs> All the time before that. Yeah. Okay. I am going to probably regret this. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Okay, so and since you did that in reaction, I placed the top two cards at the top of my deck. Yep. Coco Crusoe, no! 
Is that only when you play a Troublemaker? No. When a Troublemaker is played, banish the top card of your deck to this length as problem. Yep, fair enough. Making it very powerful if you're running against a villain slash Troublemaker deck yourself. Mm. Okay, and I am going to... Go for wrestling, targeting Granny Smith and Big Shot, because why not? Uh, up to four, four. So Let's do it again. Four, five. Uh, all right, you win. Look at the top card. Look at my hand and choose one to go on top. Okay. So we have a cheek beret, a Big Mac, a standstill, and an Arizotl. So you mm -hmm. straight away go for the Arizotl. Uh, wow, that's terrible. Me. <laughs> standstill. <laughs> standstill. Stand sure. I want to get that out of the way as quickly as possible. Fair enough. Okie dokie dokie. I'll confront this one again for another point. Passing down. Okay, so draw for my turn. Uh, Should I point there, didn't you? I didn't actually, no. I, I misplayed it. Naughty. Tight. Okay, so gaining three action tokens. This is where the fun begins. So I'm going to reveal the diamond dog to my problem. As a result, I am going to exhaust a big shot to gain an extra victory point. And now Coco Crusader's ability kicks in, so I want to try to make us reveal this card part's problem. Discard a card. Two cards, I should say. Yep. Taking the Big Mac and Sheik Bray. Oh, that's a shame. It gives me three different cards in my graveyard, though. It does. Yeah. Okay, now. So. This is the one problem that I, at the at this stage, my deck has a weakness. That I don't know what that is. If that's a villain, that's going to stuff up my whole chain here. So I need to try and get out of there or beat myself to the problem. <laughs> we'll see how we can do. Okay. So, I'm exhausted because I chased it from the last turn. Okay. I'm going to use one of my Varmint Barricades to move... Rarity up to here. Uh, for one action token, I'm going to play a face down troublemaker to your problem. For. I can't risk not getting this card out in the field. Okay. For I'm going to exhaust my cloud chaser. And play two to play the almighty, truly outrageous to your problem oh, there. Nice. Um, okay. Since I am also confronting over here again, an extra point. Sadly, her she doesn't flip because I don't have a second white character there to do it. You need. Anyways, I'm going to draw my standstill. Get my two action tokens and reeling. Oh, yellow pair sprite, and let's do it. Oh god, no, no, no. See, as I said, <laughs> that's what I was afraid of, so I'll draw my three extra cards. Frightened, and the Diamond Dog is dismissed. Mm -hmm. I lose Coco Crusoe and Recipe about my hand. And I, of course, lost my Arizotto and Standstill, which you, everyone should have known by now. One, two, three. Okay, beautiful. <coughs> mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Cool. Okay. For two, I will move up more than Sure. Cool. And then for two, I'll play a little stand. Nah, no point using it. End of my main phase, more five flips over, and I have one, two, three, four. All four types in my graveyard, which means she goes up to maximum power. Very nice. And... Confront here for an initial one. Passing turn. Okay. So I'm going to draw my card. Uh, so you can discard two of my random cards because of. It's true to Twilight Sky. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. As I was saying earlier, Twilight Sky, this is the card I was talking about earlier that, again, a bit expensive to get on the field. However, it helps to lock down the opponent mm. that they can't they can move over then they're not keeping tally of their action token usage they're kind yeah. of up the creek without a paddle if you know what I mean 
Kind of like a plum tucker out in a friend. Yes. Um, okay. I'm going to confront the yellow parasprite, because why not? Two to four. Two to four. Flip a seven. Yeah, oh, you're not winning that anytime soon. Ouchies. Okay, that's fine. So I'll push that back there. Trudet Rage to come home. All right. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah, also going to reflip my Troublemaker in my Troublemaker phase, which is a Wild Manticore. Mm-hmm. That's annoying. It can be annoying. Okay, so I'm going to gain my three action tokens. I'm going to use the remaining two cards under my Varma Barricade mm-hmm. to move up. I, I can't remember what I had here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to move up Coco Crusoe, Coco Crusoe, and Big Shot. Uh, right, truly outrageous, I'm going to move up also. Yeah, already. Okay, so with my three action tokens, I am going to unexhaust, uh, unfrighten Coco Crusoe for two. And I'm going to pay one to play another face down troublemaker. Here. Sure. Okay. Start of my turn, I will draw my three action tokens and randomly discard from my menu. So far, shorts. Not useful to me, so it's good. Would you say that Maud Pie is a risky main to run? Uh, yeah, I'd say so, especially with the new rule changes coming when she exhausts when a new trouble maker is revealed. Yes. But for now, I'm going to face off. Four and three. three. There we go. My moon is down. Okay, and... Hmm. Yep, I'll face off against Wild Manticore. Let's see where it goes. Who's wrestling for three? Farm at Barricade yeah. and uh, Adam's Strudel nope. for five. Uh, six. Not winning that one anytime soon, so I will take my Granny Smith. Um, here's the question though. Should I move over here and try and take down the Wild Manticore? Although it might get replaced. Who knows what that is? I don't think you run villain, so I'm not too worried about that. I can't give away all my cards. <laughs> No, I don't think you'd run villains because you need to have your Coco Chase and Big Shot at the same problem. So you don't want to risk frightening them. I just realised I missed my trigger earlier. Is it an optional trigger? No. Mm, okay. Procedure. Or should I stay at that problem, score a point, and see what happens next time? Because that would put me four points ahead. You know what? I'm going to do just that. Instead, play a face down. And yeah, for shits and giggles, I'm going to do Sapphire Shores versus Rarity with Hoof Wrestling. Two, two, flip again. Flip to six. Flip to five. Okay, so I win that. So I look at the cards and I choose one. So Wild Medcore goes back on top of his deck. Cool. That goes there and that stays there. Alrighty. Um, no point using that, so I'll just confront there for one point. Okay. Making my two passing turn. Um, so I gain my four action tokens. I'm going to save you the trouble. I draw Wild Magical because the other post point is discarded. Mm-hmm. Ouch. Um, I'm going to confront. Before I do that, though, I'm going to reveal my troublemaker to be a quarry eel. Ooh. I reckon I'm going to put, put that in play. You're going to keep that one? Yes. Alrighty. So as a result, Coco Crusoe's effect kicks in. you got no hand, so this is, the point. this is the point where I want to be, try and lock him out entirely now. Although, having said that, ironically, I have no hand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Top decking is magic. Okay, so I'm going to confront the yellow parasprite. Cool. Let's do it. So you got four versus four. I flipped one. And I flipped two. All right, so you win that one. All right. Question. Yes. This is... Forgive me here, guys. I'm still rel- relatively new to the game. I don't get that trigger there for this problem, do I? No, because it's only my own, the owner's main character. Okay. Yeah. Fun fact of the day. If you had one, then yeah, definitely. Okay. 
All right, so I get an extra. And extra also, your main character wasn't there, so you win your Thank you, Katie. All right, so four action tokens, and I've got no cards in my hand. All right, I'm going to spend the card on a Varma Barricade to move Rarity over to here. For free, I am going to I'm going to um, feel kind of lonely over here. Uh, I'm going to pay two active tokens to draw two cards. You're kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and for two action tokens, I am going to move this frightened card over here, which is my big shot. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I am believe I am this, not the first person to confront this problem here. No, but so you still get the bonus still rarity. A point, and I'm going to move Trillet Rages home to get an extra additional point. Cool. Alrighty. I draw my card. And three. Arizosu, which I will immediately face off against. Flipping a two. 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 So I win that one. Certainly do. So that's two points for me. And, and yep, yeah, I'll activate the ability of social obligations to score an additional point. Because why not? I should have got four action tokens in it. <laughs> and I will Now let's let's pay two to move characters. Oh one. So I have to pay three for that. I want to move it over there. Or it could be a dick. I want to. I'm going to pay one to draw a card, see what it gets. That's not useful. Pay one to draw. That's slightly less useful, but still useful. And one more to draw a card. Hmm. That would be nice. Alright, and then I'll pay three to play Quarry Eels to move this one over here. Sure. Okay. Yep. That's my turn done. Okay, so I draw a card and gain my five action tokens. So you really got me on the back pedal here. Mm. Not a good start, but we'll see what we can do. Okay. Yeah, shutting down your big shot early was uh, pretty key, I think. Mm. Very key. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So, for one action token, I'm going to play a... No, actually, for one action token, I'm going to play a Varma Barricade to my home, a second one. <laughs> for a second action token, I'm going to play a Quarry Eel. I have to, don't know why I've told you that, but... <laughs> Thanks for the info! I'm just nice like that. Mm. Taking the top two cards of my deck. Being a... A Sunny Smiles oh, and a Twilight okay. Sky. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am going to use both of those cards to move my Frightened Cloud Chaser and my Rarity, Rarity Truly Outrageous up to there for free. I am going to I'm going to unfrighten Big Shot for two and I'm going to bank the last action token. Mm -hmm. I'm going to confront my problem over here yeah. for one, taking Rarity Truly Outrageous home. Additional one. For additional one. And since I confronted, when I confronted with two additional white characters, yep, Rarity flips, which I should have done this a long time ago, but sue me. Well, you didn't have two white characters there. No, before. I didn't. And her ability, you must play one extra, extra going to play in events. Yep. So, no more free for our things. Okay, my turn again. Draw a card and getting excuse me five A T, and of course I will face off against the Quarry Eels. And for four, five, four. I still win that one. So there's two points for me. And I'll use more Pi to score an additional point through social obligations. And then I will pay two to move up Granny Smith mm -hmm. and confront for the final point. Okay, and that's game. Game one. 
Cool. As you can see, the game is a bit, uh, my deck, I should say, rather, is a bit of hit and miss at the moment. Mm -hmm. It does require a little bit of tinkering, but we'll see if I can come back and game two there. So well, it's yeah. getting tuned. I mean, my Nightmare Moon help, but you still emptied my hand pretty quickly. That I did. Mm. All right. All right, folks, we'll see you in the next round. Indeed. All right, guys, back again I'm here for round two. It's actually a couple of hours later since uh, a lot of things happens in between, but we'll get on to it. Here with a couple of new people now. Yep. Katie mm -hmm. and Phil, who you'll see on another video after this one, hopefully. Mm. Say hi, Phil. Hi, Phil. <laughs> Probably be up uh, next week. Okay. So, as you remember, I lost in the last game, so I'll go. I choose to go first. Yeah. Okay. Right. Are you going to keep your hands? I. I will. I'll keep my hand. Nice. Very good. Okay. I should do so. My first action token. Actually, no. Uh, move, I should say. I am going to play Cloud Chaser for two. Mm -hmm. Cool beans. Okay. okay. So that's six. Perfect. One for the draw. Mm hmm. And let's have a look. Ooh, yes, yes, I am liking this. I hate okay. when you make noises like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pay one for Vamba Barricade. And one for face down. Activating Vamba Barricade. Ooh, there goes Nightmare Moon. I'm not complaining. <laughs> I know. Okay. Yours. Okay. <laughs> the two. Okay. I'm going to exhaust Cloud Chaser and pay one to play Cloud Chaser to your problem. I'm going to exhaust that Cloud Chaser to play a Rising Star. Mm -hmm. That's what's coming. I'm not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. and turn. Cool. Get a couple of action tokens, and then just cut everything. No more moon! Uh, not, a, not a bad loss, if I say so. I lost a Pony of Shadows, Twilight Sky, Big Shot, and Fashion Week. Yep, and I got a couple of friends, some resources, and an event. Yay! Yay! Mm -hmm. And what did I get in return? Three. I got nothing interesting. Um, okay, I'm just going to pay one for a face down there. I'm barricade again. I guess the truly how it is. I'm having all the luck. Anyways, passing turn. Okay. So put me on two and draw a card. Okay. Discard. I'm card. getting ready to shut my hand. Mm, Twilight Sky. Okay. I always seem to hit that one. You certainly do. Okay. I'm going to exhaust Cloud Chaser. So I'm going to spend two action tokens to reveal my second Cloud Chaser. I am going to exhaust that Cloud Chaser to play Big Shot to Nightmare Moon over here. Okay. Dokie. And that's actually my action tokens. Past turn. Cool. I'll draw. Right, two. And reveal. Yellow passport. Now. Hmm. I can't help but feel you're trying to out choke the Coco choke. <laughs> and that's all you can say. Alright, I'm going to pay one to draw. And draw again. Alright, one more. Not good for me at the moment. Pass turn on that. Okay. I shall draw a card. Discard two. Discard two. I'm standing my cloud chasers. Mm -hmm. Let's 
hoping you wouldn't grab those two, but okay. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> All right. I'm going to face off against the yellow Paris Sprite. Of course you are. Four plus two, I put the two to one. one. Send some home. That's fine, I'll send Cloud Chaser home. And I'm going to face off against Nightmare Moon. Why not? So, yeah, <laughs> not against that. That's fine, I didn't want to win that one anyway. Now they're safe. Hmm. Okay. The cheap way to get things home. <laughs> I like to think that, yes. I'm going to pay <laughs> one <now>. to... <laughs> I'm going to pay one to draw a card, and pay one to draw another card, hmm. and pass turn. Alrighty. No draw. Hey. Finally. Okay. First up, this guy, though. Which is going to be interesting. Please don't hit what I drew. Thank God. Oh, thank God you got rid of that. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's not... That's it's now every single Nightmare Moon Gorn. Yes. Alright, I'm going to pay two for my Sapphire Shores. No, I'm going to play it there. And then I will Vomit Barricade my other Nightmare Moon to bring in more pie up. And my main phase, she flips. And she would be on yeah, yeah, on full power. Seven there. Okay. And that's my turn. So I'll shuffle my cards. <laughs> now even I don't know what you're going to take. <laughs> Those two. What's he hit? He's hit. Manticore. Oil. Oil. And I can get the card up, that is. He's gold. Oh, no, no gold. No, no gold. gold. I'm happy with that. That's <laughs> okay. It's a shame. Okay. I wouldn't have mind facing them. Okay, so I got two action tokens. I am going to exhaust both my cloud chasers to play Coco for so for one. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pay one draw a card. Okay. Alright. My turn. One, two. two. Yep. And random discard. Stubborn. And face off. Gets the nightmare moon. There's a one. Four. Four. Uh, let's see. So that's nine, ten, eleven. Yes. Damn. I was hoping he was going to kill that for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll bring Sapphire Shores home. Why not? Okay. I will just bank the two there and go. Okay. So I draw a card. This card two. Get to keep that one. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Okay. Okay. Alright, so I am going to it's ready my cards. I'm gonna face off against the yellow power sprite. Sure. So what's that? Three versus four. four. Oh, God. Six. Damn it. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Is it fine? It's that's why hats are amazing, fine. guys. Rising Star will go home. I am going to pay one to draw a card. And pay one to draw another card. And leave it at that. Very well. I draw and two action tokens. And discard something. Yep. Not useful to me, which is good. And face off. Seven versus seven. I flip six. Look at that. Up to five. Ah, I still win. You certainly do. Nice. So there goes three points for me. Yeah, first score of the game. That's what, four, five, six turns in. Okay. So I'm going to pay one to draw. Yeah, pay one to draw another card, so I get... Yeah, okay, that's my bet. Okay, 
So I'll leave the two action tokens, confront this one for two. Plus that shot. So draw my card. Okay, I'm putting me on three now. Mm -hmm. And discard a card. Mm -hmm. At least it's only one. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> it. But I'm... Yep. Don't know. That's okay by me. I'm going to get the card that is. Put my nails. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's what these are for. I am... Okay. For one action token, I am going to play a Varmint Barricade to my home. Mm -hmm. For another action token, I am going to play a face down Troublemaker to your problem. For one. I am going to take the top card of my deck to pump Varmint Barricade, which I am then going to use to move Big Shot over. Mm -hmm. I am then going to draw my last card, and I'm going to end my turn there. Alrighty. So I draw and three. Let's have a look at what I got. Yeah. That works. Alrighty. I will pay two. Sapphire Shores to this problem. Mm -hmm. Then I'll pay a 1 for a Cherry Jubilee. Pay 2 for a Vittle Stand, an Exhaust Vittle Stand, and Sapphire Shores to give Cherry Jubilee the power. Mm -hmm. Allowing me to double confront. So 2 here, 1 over here, and face off. There's a five and no chance. Cool. So I get the point, and social obligations will score me that point. Putting me on ten. Mm hmm. Cool. And that's my turn done. Crap. No problems. That. And. Mm hmm. Want it, need it. Excellent card. Mm hmm. That'll be your turn. Okay, I'm going to draw a card and reveal my Troublemaker, typically a yellow Paris Bite. Woo! Oh. Four. Okay. Let's see what I can do here. I'm going to pay one to draw a card. You don't help me, that's fine. I'm pay one to draw another card. So you need a miracle right here. Okay, I'm going to pay one to play a violent barricade to my home. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay one to play a face down troublemaker to there, taking the top two cards off my deck to pump my violent barricades. Yep. Of course, there you are. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. Which I am then going to spend both of them to move Coco Croso and Big shot to that problem there. Mm -hmm. To that problem there, I should say. That makes more sense. <laughs> and I'm going to leave it at that. No, already. Going to score for two points. Cool. And I will draw four. Okay, let's see what I can do. Oh, I should have this card first. You should. <laughs> okay. So I'll use my Vomit Barricade ability to move up one pie to this one. Mm -hmm. I also need two non. So that would be two for a Sapphire Shores. Use once. No. Nope. And I'll draw a card, see what I get. Bank the last token there, and end my turn. Sure. So I'm going to draw a card and reveal yet another 
yellow power sprite. Mm -hmm. I'm going to exhaust big shot to give me a victory point, and you must discard two cards. Random. Random. Fun. I'm going to do it again next time. <laughs> Ooh. How do you like them apples? Mm. Sorry, I've always, quite wanted, tasty. I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So, for one action token, I am going to play a face down troublemaker to there. Mm -hmm. Tell you, allowing me to pump my varmint barricades. I'm going to exhaust both my cloud chasers to allow me to play Sunny Smiles to this problem here for one. Okay, this can work. I am going to pay, use one of my Farmer Barricades pumps to move Rising Star up. Mm -hmm. I am going to use he going for the DFO? I don't think he can. Uh, I'm going to pay one to draw a card. Mm -hmm. I am going to use Fashion Week on Coco So against either of yours, uh, Sapphire Shores. Yep, that's the same. Uh, flip the five. I flip the four. So no dice. Uh, you get a victory point. Okay. That was a risky move. Was a risky move. It's not going to help me, but we can try anyway. Okay, I am going to. Mm. I am going to use my barricade barricade to move up rarity to here. Sure. I am then going to exhaust Rising Star to reveal the Quarry Eel. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to keep the Quarry, I'm going to keep the Yellow Parasprite. Very well. Taking two cards here, taking True That Rages and Hoof Wrestling. Mm -hmm. um, doing so gives Sunny Smiles a two point buff. Oop, no, that's three. Two point buff. I'm going to bank the last action token, and I'm going to confront over here for three points. Yeah. One, two, two, three. Well done. <sighs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> there might be some life left in this deck, maybe. We, we shall see. If I believe in the heart of the cards. I <laughs> just in the heart of the both my cards, since I have nothing else to do. And that means Sunny Smiles keeps her buff on two. Yep. So, I'll face off against the yellow power sprite. Mm -hmm. As you would, yeah. and I definitely win that. So there's a point there. Now, that one and two. Yep, and draw. And we're good. I'm going into face off, so she, she has the buff still. So I should win that fairly easily. Let's make sure that there, there. And two to move up Sapphire Shores and for Chips and Giggles I'll exhaust that and that to give one by another power. Why not? Mm -hmm. So I'll confront that because on the first one to do so with an orange friend I get one point for mm -hmm. each and then face off. Would be four. No dice. No dice. That's game. Mm -hmm. We have a 16. Excellent. Very nice. You tried. I tried. <laughs> you got it going quite well for a while there. <laughs> okay. We shall see you all in the next bonus round, because why not make it a three for keeping to this tradition? Sure, let's do it.
guys, back again for the bonus round three. Yeah, yeah, hopefully some satisfaction has achieved. <laughs> satisfaction! Alright, let's do it. So Josh will be going first this time. It's the card chart. Okay. Well, I think you're going to Mulligan? Oh, no, I'm going I'm to keep this one. There were some hand gestures made. Hopefully this <laughs> Rather one. inflammatory towards the sky. <laughs> okay. We can't tell what it was. It may have been jazz hands. <laughs> okay, I'm going it was to definitely jazz I'm hands. going to bank. <laughs> Most definitely jazz hands. Okay, I will put my six. Alrighty. Nice look. It's not too bad. I will get my two there. Yeah, I'm not too really happy with that. Um, right, I'm going to bank one for now. Plus ten. And I'm going to bank as well. Okay. Two. Let's see what I can do. Okay, I'm going to pay one for a bump barricade. And pay one for a face central maker. Which will activate bump barricade. Supply shores. Plus and ten. Okay, so I draw my card. Put me on six. Okay. For three action tokens, I am going to play Coco Crusoe. For one action token, I'm going to play Barnet Barricade. For one action token, I'm going to play. Rising Star. Mm -hmm. Now you may put a card under your bar bar barricade. <laughs> I knew it was coming. <laughs> I'm just getting there myself. And I'm going to... Oh, yeah. Dying people, I swear. <laughs> Exhaust Eight. Rising Star mm -hmm. to reveal a Diamond Dog. So you need to discard two cards randomly. I do indeed. Not nice. Is there a few in there I would like to keep? But we'll see. Actually, hold on. Ooh. He's going for a split. Huh. No, that's okay. Okay. Um. I'm going to leave it at that. Cool. I'll draw and get my tokens. Two. And I'll cover my yellow parasite. Okay, I will play one for a Cherry Jubilee. Mm -hmm. For three, I will attach a Chic Beret to Cherry Jubilee. Mm -hmm. And then for one of my Von Barricade cards, which will be the resource one, let's move up more pie. Uh, into my main phase, she flips over and gets three power. I mean to confront my problem. Sure. Because Cherry Jubilee is a white, and she actually has plus two power. One from Sheep Bray and one from her own effect. Yours. Okay. So I draw a card. I am going to get my cards ready to shuffle and prepare. A double prepare yourself. Rally star. <laughs> okay. So I put him on three action tokens. I'm going to pay one to draw a card. I'm going to pay one to play a face turn troublemaker, activating my varmint barricade. Mm -hmm. I am going to exhaust Rising Star. I missed it. 
You did mention <laughs> to Never reveal mind. Pony of Shadows. Sure. I'm not going to activate that. Mm-hmm. I'll discard. discard two cards, please. Getting rid of two orange cards. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to. I'm going to use a card under my bar- bummer barricade to move Rarity up. Sure. Confronting, putting on two victory points. Cool. Alright, I will. <laughs> and get my three D action tokens. At least now elements of the Coco Choke are working. Mm. <laughs> it's not perfect, but nothing yeah. ever nothing ever is. That's oh. it. Speak for yourself, sucker. <laughs> yeah, here's the thing. I could be a real jerk right now. Or I could score a couple of more points. It's villain, so being a jerk is kind of my thing. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to be a jerk. Because he's going to bow. So, I will pay two for not on the list. The Vanishing Coco Crusoe. Sure. Which gives more pie her final power. I will spend the card to move more pie over to this problem. And then for my last action token, there will be a face down, which will activate my bum barricade. And my bum barricade. Yep. And that will end my turn. Okay. So I will draw a card. Stand up. Okay, it's giving me three action tokens as well. What am I going to do here, folks? What am I going to do? Okay, I am going to pay three action tokens to play Rarity Nestweaver to here. Mm -hmm. I am going to grab the Pony of Shadows out of there. Mm. Okay. For using for one action token. I'm going to play a face down troublemaker. Sure. Activating my bar barricade. I am going to use two of those cards. Just remember, did you randomly discard at the start of your turn? I don't think I did, no. Hey, you missed your triggers, I missed my triggers. Now we're even. But this one's a mandatory one. Yes, but you missed your trigger and you didn't remind me, so not to you. It's a mandatory one. Yes, well, I've already done moves. There's not much I can do now, is there? <laughs> Judge! <laughs> Can't really run the game, so. Yeah. <laughs> but it's well, your you responsibility to remember. Although you can, loyal viewer. <laughs> yes, Speak. vote down in the comments. Should he get punished? Please don't punish me. <laughs> I don't want to be punished. So anyway. we've now got a missed warning trigger for both. Exactly. I think well, no, gonna... mine's not op- mine's optional, so I could choose to miss it. No, that's your card. What that? Yes, that. Yes. Mm. Um, activating the, those two cards I used earlier, and I am going to destroy it. I'm going to activate that to ditch yeah. that. Okay. Okay. Do it. Let's do it. All right. So I draw and discard it because it is a nightmare. Memory. Can't say I didn't expect that. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, and naturally I'll face off seven versus seven. Three and three again. Five. I thought Fashion Week was three, and that was five. No. I don't know. No dice for you. Well then, Woodcock comes home, and I'll just push it back up. Because <laughs> <laughs> why not? <laughs> and... Yeah, I'll draw up. Sure. Day two. Play a bit of extra power there. Okay. That and my turn done. Okay. So I will draw a card. And I will shuffle the cards. Mm. 
those two. Oh. Okay, that's harsh, but alright, let's try it. I am going to confront the yellow Paris Bright. Sure. Six. No, five. Five, one. No oh, dice for me. My other hand six. That's okay. I am going to push Rising Star home. My three action tokens. I am going to use three of those action tokens to play Coco Gasso. And I'm going to use my Farmer Barricade to move up Rising Star. A little bit more power. Why not? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> and That's what it's there for. We'll leave it at that. Alright, I am drawing this card. And that's got my three. Oh, I keep picking up four. Wishful because thinking. Because at this point you should have four. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Let's face off. I flipped a one I and a two. two. I still win because thank God I played Sapphire Shores. So. My Nightmare Moon is dead, and I get three out of that, and I will activate Social Obligations to spend an additional point. Because I can. Alright, I'm going to pay one to draw. That's fine. And then I'll pay two to push more pie over here. And end my turn. Okay. I'm going to draw a card. Left or right? Ah, uh, your left. There we go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to confront the yellow Paris rights. Sure. First, I put five. I put the two. So it put me mm. in. It's two, four, four. nine. I have got terrible math skills, obviously. <laughs> two, four, six, eight. No dice for me then. Mm, unlucky. It's okay. Push something back home. I'll get you. Oh. Let's push you home, Rising Star. So, four action tokens. I'm going to pay one to draw a card. Pay one to draw another card. Oh, that's helpful. I pay one to draw one more card, because why not? Sure. And... Pay one to draw one more card. Make the one. Cool. Alrighty, I'll draw. And ready and face off. Seven versus five. With the four and four. So I win that one. Give me another three points. One, two, three, and social obligations again. Give me one more. Okay. So that'd be four action tokens now. Ha! Got it right. <laughs> four, one. I'll place a face down from maker. So I will use and giving out my respective um upgrades. Bank those last three there, passing turn. Okay. I'm going to pay one to draw a card. Oh, um, draw my card, I should say. Uh, I'm going to confront the yellow Paris Bright. First you'll discard. After discarding, of course. That one. It's fine by me. <laughs> Another one. Okay, I'm going to confront the yellow Paris Bright. Yep. Flip to one this time. Two. Two. Uh, Finally. Uh, yeah, you beat that. Hooray. Putting me on three. As mm. pitiful as that sounds. <laughs> okay. What to do, what to do. Alright. Four. Three action tokens. I am going to play Rarity Truly Outrageous to that problem there. I am going to bank my last action token. Confront the problem, putting me, giving me one. Mm -hmm. As I'm confronted with two white characters other than Rarity, Rarity flips. Sure. Having said that, there's three rarities there. <laughs> I'm also going to take Truly That's Outrageous. A very rare home. opportunity there. To get myself another point. <laughs> and that is my turn. Certainly truly outrageous three rarities. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I will yeah. draw. Four action tokens. 
Ready? And reveal a nightmare moon. Ah. That's fine by me. I have to get my hand anyway. <laughs> and I'll get my three cards. Hmm. Okie dokie. And I'll face off. So verse seven. And I flip to five. And I flip to four. So and the moon goes down. One, two, three. Now, do I want to social obligation this? Because that'll put me on fourteen and I need to confront again. Which okay, yeah, I can do that. Exhaust to score. And then for two, I can play Granny Smith over here, allowing me to confront that problem for the final point. No satisfaction for me, then. Mm. <laughs> the deck can only get better, though. As I said, it's still under construction, so I'll pop a link up to the deck list. Mm -hmm. Please, please, people, let me know. We'll make sure to put that in the description there, so check it out and oh. see what you can do to fix it up. Also... To let you know, on the way, we're becoming a, we're creating a new YouTube channel to put all our content on there. Hopefully doubling what we put up a week, maybe two, three videos. We'll see, see how things go. Yep. Uh, the YouTube channel, hopefully, if it's not taken, will be the truly outrageous Pony Players. Yes, we are up ourselves. Don't, <laughs> don't ask. We've uh, been calling ourselves that since basically Truly Outrageous came out almost a year ago. So... <laughs> Make sure you head over there and subscribe to catch up some more pony action and help Josh get his satisfaction with his <laughs> with his deck. Please, I'm begging you. Josh has uh, got a really kick more pies ass right now. Maybe, so maybe we'll see a rematch one day or another. Oh yeah, it'll come along eventually, and I'll go down at some point. But till then, have a good night.